Hidden down a back road outside of San Marcos, Texas, lies one of the only body farms in the United States, the Freeman Ranch Body Farm. This 26-acre outdoor human decomposition research lab is funded by Texas State University and is currently home to about 50 donated bodies. Some of the bodies are protected by cages so that researchers can study the effects of bacterial decomposition on the body, and others are unprotected in the scalding sun so that researchers can track the effects of scavenging. It's been open since 2008, and the remains of 150 individuals have already been studied there. Another 200 still living people have pre-registered to add their bodies there for future research. This is the main gate, and we drove all the way up, but we didn't want to go inside because we didn't want to trespass. But this is the Freeman Ranch Body Farm. Also, a deer made headlines one time because someone got a picture of it chewing on a human rib here. I'd love to see inside. So the Forensic Anthropology Center, that kind of the, the mission is to uh, be the kind of a premier uh, education research uh, service and outreach uh, center um, for forensic anthropology and for and forensic sciences in general. Um, and so what we do is we have uh, an outdoor decomposition facility. So we have a, a wheeled body donation program where people donate their bodies to us. They start out at our outdoor decomposition facility where we do research on how the bodies decompose. Then they are processed down to a skeleton and then that skeleton is brought to another laboratory where um, research is done to uh, examine the skeletal remains to develop methods for identification, recording trauma, uh, you know, it, it, stuff like that that we would use on a, on a, a medical case. Okay. So we we do um, training and associated with law enforcement, but we also um, do uh, lots of stuff with like we'll work, do casework for uh, local law enforcement. So if, if, if for example, there, a skeleton is found here in San Marcos, we would get uh, called and we would assist on trying to identify that individual. We would uh, do a what's called a biological profile, so we figure out, you know, the, the sex, the ancestry, the, the um, age, and information like that about the the unknown individual. We would try to match the, the those records, and then if we do, then we try to do an identification, and that can either be through like dental records, comparing the anti-mortem dental records to the unknown skeleton, or it could be through DNA analysis or something of that nature. So we have a variety of things that go on in the lab. So one is like the, the outdoor decomposition facility is a, a laboratory. And so students go out there on, on a daily basis. They take photographs, they take notes um, of, of the decomposition process. Um, and then they are also the ones that go out and pick up the bodies, place those bodies, um, and so that's all that. And then once the bodies are done, they, uh, the students will pick them up, bring them to another lab where they are processed down to a skeleton. So the students do all that processing uh, work. Um, and so this is you know, something that we have our own students do, but we also take volunteers that will do it. And then once they're, they're processed down, then they come to uh, the great early lab where the students, especially if they're working on a, thesis project or something, or even a class project will work where the skeleton remains based on, on their project design. I don't know, we are continuously growing, um, so we, you know, we are looking at trying to expand um, the, some of the equipment that we have uh, for analysis. So one of the things that we're, we already have a high resolution CT scanner. One of the things we're trying to do is get uh, an x-ray microscope we can do some analyses. We're also trying to develop um, an augmented reality lab where we can literally take people through the decomposition facility virtually um, and you know and show them what's going on without having to actually go out there and disturb the research that's happening. Right. Awesome. All right. Well, that's okay. Sure.